assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel in this tutorial i will show you how to draw cupboard with shown in the photo you can see there is no dimension but we will assume this dimension as we need or as per our design so first i will assume this one as a 100 unit and like this it is 80 unit so i'll draw in rectangle here 100 by 80 unit I'll take one offset with the one unit for the frame to inside and I will explode that now I will take one line from the middle again offset 0.5 unit one to top, one to bottom, then the middle one we don't need. Again, here I will assume this one also with 40 unit. So I will need one offset with 40 unit. Again, one more offset with one unit for the frames outside then trim tr double enter let's cut all these unwanted lines or edges now we will put a boundary enter now copy this and keep it on one side we will need this one later go to asymmetric view we have command press pull and extrude with both we can use but i will here use press pull here the depth also I'll assume as 40 unit so 40 unit press pull now again press pull this one I'll go with 39 unit here also 39 this box I'll just click and go down to make it as hollow this one also because here we have another design inside like this so we have to draw also same like that you see in the realistic view okay. we'll boundary that this side and this side enter now again we will take one offset with one unit from here inside and from here also to inside then i will take one line again offset 0.5 unit the middle one no need delete that one trim copy the same with base point and keep it here trim that one more time boundary again go back to isometric view here again use press pull command here you had just to see I'm selecting only this middle line with the 40 unit press pull same here also and these parts I will go with 39 unit select and just write 39 and enter
now select this and move it with the base point now this portion also completed now we need these two doors so let's see we have here boundary or no yeah we have boundary now I will press pull that with one unit same also with one unit and I will move that both with some of base point like this and paste it here but here if you see the photo the doors are little bit inside then the frame so just select the doors come to this base point move it go a little bit down and keep now you can see here it is a little bit down than the frame now I don't need these lines so just select all then press shift and select again each cube separate separate delete so all these lines are deleted now we have to draw that supporting leg of the cupboard so I will go to the top view we have one line called SP line We will draw like an arc position enter now I will draw two circles one is 1.5 unit another one is 2.5 unit we will go to isometric view again and rotate these two circles with 3dr and this axis with the 90 degree now I'll move the first small one from the middle and keep it here the second one also will move from the middle and keep it to the top then I have command called loft L O F T select first circle then select the second one enter select the path Now the leg is ready. Now we have to place it under the cupboard. So first we have to rotate this with 3dr also with the 90 degree. Now I don't need these lines, just delete that. Bring the loft near close. Also again 3DR, we need to rotate as per our requirement. And from the top also we have to see just move this bring it near close and then on which position you want to fix it just rotate accordingly I think with this position will be better so I'll keep it on this position then going back to isometric just move this from the middle and paste it here now again we have to move a little bit inside so again just enter M 
and select this corner go to that and again this corner go to that so now it's ready we have to copy this or the easy way to mirror it mirror from this midpoint to this midpoint and again tag all these both and mirror again just rotate a little bit and mirror both both foot enter yeah. so now it is ready now for the coloring we will go to material lab just type mat we'll select the wooden and in the wood we have to go to the panels up to you you can select all these colors as per your own design your requirement just i'll go here go with the plywood new And for this one you can use any other color this is as per your own design as per your requirement as you want it I think this looks nice So for better review, better to render, just type RR, enter, for clear view you have to wait for this completion for 100% but I'll close this one so I hope you like this video this color are not matching with this you can just choose the same color so I hope you like this video if you like please subscribe my channel for more AutoCAD tutorials thank you God bless you